Let's have a look at how we can share a GarageBand song between different devices using the iCloud Drive. We're going to save a copy of one of our projects to the drive and on an iPhone and see whether we're able to open and edit that on an iPad. So this is the project that I was most recently working on. Let's just open this up. I'm going to click the downward facing arrow on the top left hand corner to go out to where all my songs are. And let's make a copy of uh, this first one here by clicking our finger down on it and holding it. I'm going to actually select move in this instance, and then it's going to give me some other uh, options where I'd like to move it. When I, I want to select the iCloud drive, I don't currently have any songs on the iCloud drive. And you'll notice on the top right hand corner, we now have copy. So, it's then going to take us back to uh, the file browser, the recent or the browse. I would, I would like to select now browse because this is going to give me the option to search for more places than just my iPhone. I'm going to hit the locations on the top left hand corner. And now I want to select iCloud Drive to see what we have here. Okay, so there's two files there. I just want the one here, trap beat iCloud test. Okay, so I'm now going to pause this video and I'm going to uh, jump over onto the iPad to see whether we can get that to show up. Okay, we're now looking at the screen on my iPad and you'll notice I have one locally saved song called My Song. But what I want to do is, um, so if that was to fire up like this, um, it's slightly different on the iPad. Instead of a downward facing arrow, it just has the words my songs on the top left hand corner. I'm going to click that and it will take me to the song browser right here. So let's have a look under the iCloud drive to see whether our song is now accessible there. So there's the trap beat iCloud test. And if that has a little um, cloud arrow, on the top right hand corner of the icon from that song. That means uh, that that song has not been downloaded to this device yet. So if you see that, you can just click that little arrow um, and then you should be able to just click that. Now, one thing I didn't think of is that I haven't downloaded all the extra packs from the Garage Band sound library on this iPad. So it's going to uh, give me a little error message there saying that I have a missing sound. So I should go to the sound library and make sure that I've downloaded all the same packs that I have on my iPhone version of the GarageBand app. And as a general rule, I tend to just go through and download everything um, so that I know that all of my songs are going to work between the two devices. And now if I was to open up that TrapBeat iCloud test session and make some changes to it and then close the app, those changes will then be updated on the session on my iPhone once I open that up again. And as long as I'm connected uh, to a network, three or four G network or a Wi-Fi, um, that will then update for me and I'll be able to keep editing that song on the iPhone.